Hello and welcome to the Cap Gemini Super Techies show on ET Now. This is India's first reality TV series for IT professionals, and it's a platform where they get a chance to exhibit their tech talents to the world. Let's find out if this episode will indeed throw up the super techie that we are looking for. I'm your host, Abhimanyu Radhakrishnan. Every episode has three teams battling it out for a place in the grand finale. Now, these three teams, of course, are among the 21 that were selected after a grueling Pan India process. And one of them will get that coveted title of the Super Techie and walk away with a cool 10 lakh rupees. On the show today, let's introduce our jury. We have VVR Babu, who's CIO of the ITC Group. He's, of course, the man who has designed today's challenge for all our contestants. And joining him to evaluate the solutions are Dr. Nile Yajnik, who's a professor at the Narsi Munji Institute of Management Studies and the chairman of their Information Technology Department. And we have Kishore Chisle, who's the CEO of Local Business Services India and Middle East for Cap Gemini. Thanks so much for joining us on the show, gentlemen. So let's get the ball rolling on this, our first round, which is called The Challenge. Um, let's get our viewers up to speed with what's happened so far. The challenge was presented to our teams at ITC's headquarters in Kolkata a week ago, during which they got a chance to understand the challenge and work on the solution thereafter. Let's quickly introduce our three teams with a small audio visual, which also shows a sneak peek at their interaction with BVR Babu. I am Sunil Shekhar. I am Ashish. I am Bindu Madhavi. Hi, I am Vanda Kishore. Hi, I am Ritam. I am Rajdeep. We are here at the ITC Kolkata office. We expect uh, a real challenge uh, in this. We, it may be related to more of uh, mobility. This is something related to uh, proper availability of information across the entire organization to the right people at the right time. ITC has been using IT to drive business processes and operations. So my challenge is how do we use technology in cost effectively capturing the demand and uh, servicing this demand in the rural markets. Welcome to this uh, special program organized by ET Now and uh, Capgemini. Now I go to describe the challenge. So the challenge to the super techies is with mobile phones reaching about 90% of the rural markets, can you work on a solution which enables the following? Rural retailers and shopkeepers are able to see the catalog of ITC's product offerings on their mobile phones and use the same to send their orders to ITC. Retailers could use any make, any model of the mobile phones available. The solution should also cater to consolidating the demand of rural markets and provide the most cost-effective route to service the same. And the third is use the mobile phone as a medium to reach out to retailers and potential customers to communicate about product offerings, various schemes, discounts, in order to enhance and create demand and thereafter help in converting that into a sale. This is the real-time problem, not only for ITC and for any FMCG company operating in India. All the best to you. So that was the challenge. Uh, please put your hands together for our three teams today, Max Ascent, Cloud9 and RDX. <laughs> Guys, very quickly, some reactions from you. Uh, one week, uh, quite a short amount of time to work on such a difficult problem. How was it, uh, you know, working it with your regular job? Well, it was uh, pretty tough in terms of, you know, doing a research on all the, all the possibilities that can be done in order to solve this problem for, for the ITC and, uh, in fact, for the entire market. But uh, the, the experience was extremely good. We were able to get through and, uh, you know, find out a solution and devise a solution for, for the company. And I think, uh, you know, it's going to be good. Right. Uh, cloud nine, uh, sleepless nights or, uh, you know, burning the midnight oil after a long time? Yeah, it was sleepless uh, nights, of course. Uh, we worked really hard and uh, thanks to the mentor who 
uh, helped us in focusing on the right direction. Right. So it was good. Yeah. What about you guys, Max Ascent? Uh, excited to be here for this challenge? Yes, we had a I mean, very good time working on this. So we carved some uh, time out and uh, we sit together to work on this. Yes, we got very good support from our mentor uh, to do this activity. Yes. So we right. changed a lot. Well, Bindu from Cloud9 did mention a mentor, so although they only had a week to turn around the solution, we decided that they did need some help, and so a mentor groomed them through this uh, process. We have uh, Parag Arjun Wadkar from Capgemini India here with us in the audience. Uh, Parag, thanks so much for being with us on the show. Uh, just a quick uh, you know, take from you on what this experience was like. It was an interesting challenge, and all three teams have come up with innovative solutions. They've used mobile, dish, TV, IVRS, all the possible media. And I think it was a learning experience for me also, through and through. I think it was enjoying it. Thanks so much, uh, Parag. Uh, before we uh, you know, get into the next segment, I'll quickly ask our CIO on the show. Uh, Mr. Babu, ITC's uh, you know, uh, eChopal is a celebrated project. You were at the cutting edge uh, with that first internet revolution. Uh, you know, the mobile revolution offering a similar opportunity uh, to ITC? Yeah, very much. We believe the next breakthrough of uh, IT applications for business will come through these mobility solutions. Particularly the challenge that we have is how do we exploit the growing rural markets of India. I think uh, the mobility solutions will play a very important role there. Right, so we're looking forward to what our three teams have come up with uh, on that front. It looks like uh, they have some exciting solutions. We're going to go through all of them, but after a short break, do stay tuned to 80 Now. You're watching the Cap Gemini Super Tech Team Show. mobile phone as a medium to reach out to retailers and potential customers to communicate about product offerings, various schemes, discounts in order to enhance and create demand and thereafter help in converting that into a sale. This is the real-time problem, not only for ITC and for any FMCG company operating in India. All the best to you. Welcome back. You're watching the Cap Gemini Super Techies show on ET Now. This is where IT professionals get a chance to prove their tech metal on a national stage. Let's now go straight across to our three teams who are ready with their solutions to the challenge uh, that Mr. Babu of ITC posed to them earlier on the show. We call this round the solution. Now in this round, the three teams will present their solutions to the jury who will then judge them on four parameters and these are problem comprehension, quality of solution, adapting to alternatives and the presentation itself. Uh, Max Ascent, uh, let's start with you. Uh, whenever you're ready, the floor is yours. We suggest uh, four solutions uh, for this uh, challenge. The first one is use mobile, uh, having a web browsing and then you can uh, uh, send a request actually or replace the order. Second one is use mobile for uh, interactive voice response system. So you can use your uh, landline also for this purpose. Then the third one is like uh, use uh, eChopal, the flagship ITC project uh, facility. So you can use those uh, resources as well as uh, the available uh, infrastructure there. The last one is uh, like we can even use uh, ATM of uh, bank. So on top of it, we have to put some application which can be accessed through the mobile phone, offline and online, and also through ATM. So that application should have particular modules like taking the orders, order tracking, and the billing solutions has to be included. So some of the modules has to be there in the application so that it enables the retailers to place their orders, to track their orders, to get the uh, offers online when they are calling. Uh, to a call center guy, they will explain, okay, these are the orders, uh, offers available uh, for you. And in rural areas, what happened is, uh, no one is using the smartphone, that's what I can say. They are using the basic phones, because the smartphones are coming into picture now. 
and soon we will see that everybody is having a smartphone so installing an application on an old mobile device is pretty difficult so right now what we can do is uh, go for an IVRS solution and then later on when we move ahead in the technology phase when there is technology everywhere means the latest solutions available we can move ahead the next scalable solution is then we can go and install the application on the mobile so that's how we can start now and move ahead in our solution right thanks guys a great presentation from max ascent let's have a round of applause for them if you have any question to pose to max ascent go ahead i think choosing the ivr would not be the best possible method because the kind of products that itc has it's exhaustive so it would be too hard for the person like if he goes one by one it would be tough for him to guide Mr. Chitle, would you like to admit that question? Do you think it's a valid point that IVRS can be a bit cumbersome by the time you reach the ninth or 10th option? Because ordering takes place at the SKU level, at the stock keeping unit level. So there is, there'll be a huge number of SKUs and selecting that particular SKU in an IVR mode would be cumbersome. So uh, Max Ascent, you want to answer that? You are not choosing the product on the IVRS itself that for shampoo, press one or for uh, uh, something else you have to press two. It's not like that. Uh, the, as soon as you select the option, we are going for ordering. It will go to the agent uh, for a particular reason and he will place an order on behalf of But you. the best thing here is like uh, we are catering the language. So India is a big country having a lot of languages. So if you are uh, talking of a toll-free number for each state, so definitely the person who is uh, speaking, you will be speaking in local language. Okay. Um, RDX, any questions uh, to address? Not at the moment. I think we're good. At this stage, no questions from RDX. The next team who we're going to ask to present an executive summary of their presentation is Cloud9. Whenever you're ready, you can face the jury and go ahead. As of the problem given to us is that uh, the mobile technology should be independent of the operating system. It should be independent of the devices. So we choose the best solution for this would be at the higher level, the technology level. It would be, we call it as a MIA, mobile enterprise application platform. So uh, MIAP would cater all uh, the needs of the technology, like irrespective of what device you use, what uh, operating system works, it, it, it is independent of all this. SMS would be the way of communication for such devices. And here we have a two-way communication. As soon as they send an SMS, the server records it and gives us a confirmation, this is the order number, this is the items you are listed under this. If it is the high-end mobiles, let's say uh, the retailer is a large retailer, he can in fact uh, combine the barcode reader and just he can just scan through his mobile the required, uh, I mean, the products. We can start with the 24 by 7 call center and slowly and steadily we can have them use the applications. In this, like, uh, various uh, promotional activities could be included, you know, which will support, like, uh, voice-based ads. So, there is a voice ad in the local language which tells, okay, if you like this pro uh, product, if you want to buy this, if, if it is yes, press 1, no, press 2 or something like that. And uh, you, you are sending ads through SMS and uh, uh, other things, and it can be preset. Like uh, you can uh, preset the uh, uh, ads when it will go. Maybe during some festivals and some seasons or on New Year Day, you have some discounts, some offers, and other things. So like this, uh, you know, lot of things uh, can be integrated with this Pony May App solution. Great. Let's have a round of applause for Cloud 9s presentation. <laughs> Max Ascent. So I just want to understand that how we are sending the catalog uh, through SMS because uh, uh, there are so many items available uh, with ITC. So how we, uh, how we can send because there is a limitation on the SMSs. Judy, should we allow that question? A uh, valid question, you think? Yeah? Okay. Cloud9? I mean, again, uh, like what uh, the IVR type of solution, we will have to have a menu driven, like go to FMCG, then soaps. I mean, that's a menu driven, like you have to drill down to your product. RDX, uh, have you changed your mind? Would you like to ask anything? No, I think uh, that, that pretty much sums up our question as well. Okay, well, we've got two teams uh, who've done with their presentations. Our final team uh, to present is called RDX for Research, Development and Expand. Whenever you're ready, face the judges and begin. Well, uh, the solution that we propose for this, uh, for the business challenge uh, is divided into two parts. The, the first module is uh, catering to the retailers and the potential customers for ITC 
for which uh, which will be the mobile driven applications and uh, we'll also be integrating the value added services by mobile service providers and we'll be creating a mobile application for users that have app enabled or maybe smartphones if they choose to use now what in this case will happen is that if a user is uh, going through the SMS or VAS gateway, they can actually access the catalog of uh, ITC products over on their cell phone using the SIM services provided by the service provider. In that case, it's a purely menu-driven application which is controlled by the service provider and there's not much integration effort required in terms of a user. Uh, for smartphones and app-enabled phones, we'll have a, a mobile application which will be created in Roam Mobile. And uh, it's a hybrid application, so it can run in a standalone mode as well as in a, in a connected mode. So uh, using the application or the VAS-based SMS IVR services, the retailer or potential customers can actually submit order information, check the status of their orders, and also uh, look at the catalog information and look at the latest updates and offers uh, by ITC. Now the second part of the solution is the brain of the whole system, which is the cloud middleware where all the application logic is being hosted. It is, it'll, it'll have a web-based portal as well as it'll be a mobile uh, m-commerce site, as well as it'll be working as a service provider to cater to requests by the mobile applications and requests coming in from various sources like IVR and the uh, VAS-based requests. So uh, the, the, the brain of the system will be handling orders, taking care of the second uh, business challenge posed to us, which was order collation, scheduling, and efficient delivery. Now, in this case, what we are planning to do is uh, integrate Google Maps API web services into our application. What that will enable us to do is, based on the cell phone number and its geographical location, we can easily locate the nearest service point of ITC and assign that request to that dealer. Now, once the requests are assigned and uh, allocated to the dealer, we can also check the inventory by connecting to the back-end LOB systems by ITC provided, checking the inventory and the warehousing systems and check if the product is actually available with that dealer or not. And uh, that will enable us to create a sequencing of the delivery locations in an optimal way so that the nearest location comes first and the farthest comes later. So that way we are optimizing the delivery route for the delivery van that is going out to deliver the goods. Here if we see the demand generation uh, problem, uh, we can use location-based services, location-based engagements where the application can track the, uh, the user uh, location on the number basis and he can be sent the offers uh, on his location. Thanks so much. Let's have a round of applause for RDX Solutions. Yeah, Max Ascent, you can go first. Yeah, so uh, means uh, can it happen now? Because most of the retailers are using the basic phone. So From your experience, do most retailers uh, use only you know black and white monochrome SMS-based phones? Or you think we've progressed since then? Majority. Since we are talking about the rural markets, I think it would still be correct to say that majority would have a base models. Fair enough. So we'll admit the question. RDX, what's your solution to that? Okay, that's why we have introduced the value-added services. Uh, and in fact, as per uh, our research, the value-added services being used by the rural customers are pretty high. So that now, can work on any basic phone as well. So uh, we're done with the presentations and we had some uh, interesting cross-questioning there as well. I'm going to request the jury members to put down the scores on the four parameters that we have talked about earlier. Uh, jury members, whenever you're ready. Well, the judges have locked down their scores for the first four parameters. Let's have a look at the tally for this round. Well, and it's uh, in the same order as the teams right now, but not much between them. Max Ascent is at 50, Cloud9 at 55, and currently our leaders on the scoreboard are RDX at 59. So the margin isn't really big, even though RDX may be in the lead. They have a nine point and a four point lead over the other teams, but there's 25 points more that can swing it either way in the next round. Uh, so join us after a very short break. You're still watching the Cap Gemini Super Techies show on ET Now. mobile for uh, interactive voice response system so you can use your uh, landline also for this purpose 
there is an voice ad in the local language which tells okay if you like this pro uh, product if you want to buy this if, if it is yes press one no press two or something like that uh, we'll also be integrating the value added services by mobile service providers and we'll be creating a mobile application for users that have app enabled or maybe smartphones if they choose to use Welcome back. You're still watching the Capgemini Super Techies show on ET Now, the hunt for India's top IT professionals. We've had a closely fought contest so far with RDX leading, but they're only at 59 compared to uh, 55 and 50 respectively for Cloud9 and Max Ascent. So uh, there's a good chance that they can turn the tables in our final round. We call it the verdict. Now in this round, the judges will go in-depth into the solutions. They've seen the presentations earlier and these three teams will be marked on one final parameter, which is the feasibility of the solution. It's all well and good to have it on paper. Will it work in the real world? That's what the jury is going to check out. Jury members, you can either pose individual questions to specific teams or even pose an open question to any team that takes it. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Babu. I want, to, I want to understand from all three of the teams, when you have come out with this proposal, proposed technical solutions, what did you think that this solution will work in the field? How do you make this work? Right, so our CIO on the show, Mr. Babu, wants to know how these very techie solutions will translate into solving uh, the real world business problem on the ground. RDX, you want to answer him first? Basically, the uh, solution that we have created, uh, it takes into account the existing uh, uh, the usage of cell phones by the rural markets, primarily the rural users. That's why we took into account the value-added services, which are the most commonly used services over cell phones, apart from calling and SMSs. Who is going to be the biggest beneficiary of this solution that you have proposed? Both ITC and the retailers would get benefited because the retailers would have an option to uh, get an order catalog on their cell phones through any means available that they have, either through a phone. Cloud9, you want to answer that? Ten years back, if somebody had asked me, you know, my grandmother in my village, whether she will be using a mobile, maybe I would have told she doesn't even know how to use a landline, uh, where will she use mobile? But now I can see that in my village there are already like three, four mobile phones in every house. So that is how if we look into the future and whatever uh, solutions we are suggesting, even the retailer and the outlets, of course, first the challenge is to educate them on how to use this uh, you know, uh, software in the mobile or technologies in the mobile. But definitely when they look at the advantages it is giving, because see, it is uh, removing the lot of middlemen in the, uh, uh, in the scene and also it will add lot of profit. Wherever there is a profit, yes, that guy is using this technology and getting a profit, why should not I? Professor Ajnik, do you want to uh, pose some question to a specific team or to all three teams? Yeah, yeah. I want to um, ask a question to the entire, uh, to all three of you. Um, you know, many of these retailers uh, of ITC may not be exclusive retailers of ITC. So they represent other companies also. And other companies may have a certain interface with them. How do you think your solution will make um, life simpler because here we're talking of multiple interfaces. Yes, there is a challenge that, okay, your customers might buy uh, other products instead of yours. But we are the first movers who are introducing this technology and, uh, you know, like uh, we have to make promotions and other activities equally well to get into the customer. Max That's Ascent, it. do you yeah. want to have a crack at that? I accept to a certain extent, but what I like to add is, uh, like if you're giving a proper supply chain management to this, so whenever they're ordering, you can able to give it to them. So naturally, they will be, I mean, more oriented towards ITC product than any other product. Mr. Chitle, uh, any questions for specific teams or? or yeah, teams? I think uh, my first uh, reaction to add to what Mr. Babu said is just two technology uh, focus uh, presentation. I don't think uh, this is driven by business knowledge. Second thing I did not see from you guys is a target audience for this. I didn't hear anyone talking about what is in it for the consumer. Very generic technology presentation. You got, you could be a great technologist, but if you can't sell it and if you can't implement it, waste of time. To be very blunt. Very harsh uh, words there, and I'm glad the judges put that to you. Uh, Max Ascent, I'm going to start with you. Yes, when I spoke to rural retailers actually in villages where they are asking for this, so they are saying like they are just calling it now. I mean, uh, the retailer or the middleman salesman or something like that, and they are asking, I need this, I need this, and all. So the guy takes the order like salesman and uh, dealer, uh, he will not take the order, so that is, uh, I mean, really uh, 
uh, that is an issue actually here. Okay, good. Cloud nine. First of all, the rural people should find, you know, should have a need to buy the ITC products. So for that, we even worked on ads and other things. How do we educate? Like suppose a girl is late for the school and uh, the mother is making uh, roti or something and uh, you know the sister will tell, no, you can have uh, sunfist uh, uh, pasta and quickly she makes and uh, she is on time, she is going to the school. So we have to have you know different uh, uh, kind of approach to all the villages. We're running out of time on this episode, but uh... We're quite happy that the judges grilled all three of our teams and uh, you know put them on the back foot in this particular episode. Uh, may I request the jury now to give the final scores to all three teams on that last parameter, which is the feasibility of the solution. Uh, gentlemen, you can uh, deliberate and decide to lock down the scores. Jury members have locked down the final scores. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Let's see if we can get the final tally for this episode on the screen. And RDX has maintained their first round lead. Uh, Max Ascent finishes on 66, Cloud9 on 76. And our winners today are Research, Develop and Expand, or RDX. Let's have a round of applause for our winning team. That's a wrap on this episode of the Cap Gemini Super Techies show. RDX has made it to uh, the motherboard where we rank all the episodic winners from which the top three will make it to the grand final. Uh, but for all the teams here, there is a gift hamper from IBM. And our winning team today gets uh, a great product called the iOmega Store Center iX2 200, the cloud edition from EMC. EMC is also a global partner of Cap Gemini and is a technology major which helps organizations to store, manage, protect, and analyze their most valuable assets, that is information, in a more agile, trusted, and cost-efficient way. So congratulations once again to all the teams. Until next week, this is goodbye from all of us here at the Cap Gemini Super Techies show. Keep watching ET Now.